Well, uh, it seems to be we have Philip. Philip uh, is joining us from De uh, from Denmark. I was I was going to say from um, Austria. So great, Philip, to have you um, here in the meeting. Uh, and let's get yeah, started. Yeah. So um, Madalena isn't here today because she um, she's on PTO. She was at the Romanian uh, meetup this weekend. I saw a couple of. Uh, photos uh, and there seems to be a lot of excitement. They were all wearing the same T-shirts, and you know it seems that it was a, a great meeting. So looking forward to next week when she's here and she can tell us all about Poland and um, Romania and how those communities are meeting and what they're talking about and maybe a little bit some takeaways for Sumo. But in the meantime, we're gonna uh, keep on doing our regular meetings and let's jump to the agenda. Um, so let's go through the previous action items first. Um, Michael, um, we missed you last week. You know, every time that you're not here, it's like, oh my God, we can't live without you. Because no one knows how to record meetings or put them online or share these things. So it's great to have you here, but we made this like uh, action item. Yeah, the great um, so, thing when you're not here, actually, Michael, is that we can we can assign you to a bunch of stuff. Awesome. So we, we should feel <laughs> so, um, so sadly, the answer is there's not a good way to do that um, <laughs> without um, either uh, a big pain in the rear end or spending some money. Um, so I tried to follow up with the IT team about the, like, the video system, why they have it offline and, and whatnot, I haven't got a response. David, you have a question? Yeah, uh, so I was, I was actually record, I was watching a recording of uh, a user advocacy me meeting that uh, Matt sent me, so I'm wondering how did you record that thing? Because that seems to be working fine. Uh, we had Roland do that, that's how we did it. Oh, so, yep. so Roland, Roland, was, oh, I Roland just... was voluntold. I was just used uh, Michael's ScreenFlow thing, right? I just used ScreenFlow, Michael. So, oh, so Roland has a copy of ScreenFlow. Yep. There yeah. You so, there you go. So the solution is when when Michael isn't around, Roland records the. the okay. Meeting. There you go. <laughs> I could have sworn I saw that that bug about the the video issue get closed or updated recently. Uh, so I don't know if they fixed the problem or not. I could have sworn I saw something come across. Okay. Um, I wonder if I can, uh, let me double check if I can uh, do anything today. Hold on. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so so let's let's uh, let's say so Roland you can you can step in um Kadir just to to know uh, you tried to record last week's meeting right um yes. could you record it it is so actually online it's working? It, yes, it has a, um, let me, I'll get the link and add it to the etherpad, hold on. Uh, cool. So basically, we, we have Roland as a backup, and, and the, the other question was, did Kadir, you recorded last week, did that work? Yeah, it did. Uh, the only issue was that it didn't record my voice, but otherwise, <laughs> it was okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I'm okay. not an expert for this, apparently I had to select uh, my microphone input as a secondary input. So right. I only got all oh. of you. Hey, uh, can Sir. people mute if you're not talking? I, I pick up a lot of background conversations. That's weird. Like that? That hey, wh whoever joined just recently, can you please mute yourself? I see FXA90ID. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, so the video, uh, Michael, did you get the link to it? I, is, is that? Yes, I just put it in the etherpad. Perfect. So it's online? Yes. Uh, you can watch it. Uh, unfortunately, it's missing my voice. Um, sorry about that. Um, okay. But you so can we see have... my move, my mouse moving, and if you can lip read, that should be easy. Uh, uh, okay. To, so uh, I mean, like, I'm really sorry that we can't hear your voice, Kadir, but it would be great if even you know your, you know, this very funny video of you know you not speaking could be made available for everyone so that um, at least we hear the others. Um, yeah. There was the question Michael about just did that. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, Michael, um, is it is it is it so that you don't? Um, are you the only one who has access to the YouTube account? Yes, because that's my YouTube account. Oh. That's why. But okay. we can just upload it to any YouTube account. I'm to exactly. any YouTube account. 
Right. Yeah. Okay. So probably, um, I mean, it, it wouldn't hurt to, I mean, to have like a, an Asumo uh, YouTube account for like this type of things to put them there. Or if you want to use your personal accounts, that's fine. Um, yeah, either here, is fine with know. me. Okay. Yeah, Michael, we should probably create one anyway for the um, for the Sumo videos, maybe, that we put on, on the Sumo side. Well, the hard part is, so here's the thing. So, I mean, that's what actually my YouTube account was, I had intended it to be, but um, they won't let you use, like, I can't use a Mozilla address because we have our, like, Mozilla... Google apps and it doesn't include YouTube so they won't let you oh, sign nice. in with it so I had to give them a personal one so I had to, you know it's such a I would recommend that we solve this offline but yeah. do exactly okay. where we upload this right app. okay so it's, it's not a problem it's just to, to know maybe next time we, we can have a you know a third account uh, it doesn't have to be a, you know a Mozilla property related one yeah um, so that we can upload the videos. That would be great. Um, I see someone else joined. Uh, it's also a phone number. Hello, dear contributor, or uh, maybe it's Michelle. I don't know. Can you tell us who you are? Yes, it's Michelle. Hi, Rosanna. Hi, Hi Michelle. Nice to have you here. Good morning. It's like always, always asking about numbers. Okay, thanks. Michael, that works great. Um, and thanks for using your personal account for putting the videos. I mean, that's, uh, yeah, great. that's cool. also great. Yeah. Uh, Michelle? Michelle? We can we can hear yeah. Trent, Michelle, if you can mute. That'd be great. Yeah. Actually it's, it's quite a refreshing um right. part for, of this for meeting, our, so I don't, I... Right. <laughs> for our for our contributors, that's little Trent in the background. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So let's keep on doing um this is the second time in a row that I say I haven't gone. I haven't got to this um, um, user stories. I looked into it, um, um, but I had a couple of questions and I didn't have the time to contact Jan. So um, that's again on my plate. Sorry, guys. I will copy that to next week. Action items. Um, I hope next week I don't say the same thing. <laughs> Would be very bad if I did. Um, so next action item, uh, Michael, uh, we were talking about last week um, that we have uh, we had Jaysher uh, join our um, team meeting in San Francisco and we told everyone that that was so wonderful and great. And one of the things that we talked about is that uh, we thought it would be a great idea to make a video with him and, you know, since you're our video guy, you talked about it. So we wanted to, to, to ask how that's going, if you had any more conversations or, you know, if it's just a project that will come later. Yes, to the last thing. I it's on my uh, to do list, but we have not talked about it since the work week. No, no problem. We just had it here so that so that we uh, well, like we don't forget about it because this was one of the things that came up. And uh, yeah, we just definitely want to see Jay Shur's, uh expertise shared because he's all he's incredible. He has this great script, and I think that everyone would benefit a lot. So, whenever you get to it, Michael, um, we, we would definitely benefit from it. So. Just cool. no problem. Great. So next uh, item on the list, Michelle Roland, um, please fill out your uh, status updates for your areas in this etherpad. But that was because you weren't here last week, right? Uh, we were missing you, and we're very um, we wanted to know about you. But you're here this week, and uh, you'll tell us personally what you've done. Um, anything else? Uh, no, we'll talk about it. So for everyone, we also had the um, action item to see if there were any problems with the charts. So I guess, Kadir, did you get anyone? No, that's actually, that was an action item for me. And okay. yes, um, there, is, there is something, something was going on during those dates. We had an unusual uh, amount of activity. Um, and I thought actually that was okay, but I just learned from Ricky that it was, I was looking at the wrong table. <laughs> Um, so I will have a report on that next week. But yes, oh, yeah. there, there, there was an unusual amount of um, votes that day. So that leads me to think that yes, there is there was something not okay. Okay, so you're referring to the helpful votes. Okay, so Kadir, will I'm gonna take you to I'm gonna put your action item to next week. I was talking about the action item before that, uh, which was that the team should take a look um, into the uh, charts to see oh. if everything's okay because you are looking too short. <laughs> So that was the next one, so we just covered it, no problem. Just to follow right. up on the uh, previous action item, uh, I, I believe actually that Michelle well, and Roland did fill out those 
Thanks. Looking at the previous etherpath, oh, they're okay. all filled in. So just wanted thanks, to make, thanks, Dave. make that clear. Okay, perfect. So that's done. Um, yeah. And, so, and so if you if haven't you could... seen that, everyone, take a look at that. Sorry. Kadir, I keep you dropping. So, no, uh, no worries. Uh, so the uh, issues with or, or reporting or looking at the charts and reporting back, can we please leave that also for, for this week? And could you please look at that again this week? Because we are adding the KPI dashboard to the things that we are moving. Uh, and I think that's going to be done by tomorrow, the sprint, the seventh sprint is ending tomorrow. Um, so we still need your feedback until next week, hopefully. Okay, perfect. I just moved those for next week, uh, and so did I with Madalena's last um, action item to to be so kind to check the spike in the um, Army of Awesome. Um, I, I I would say, David, that looking at the KPI, um, if you see this this past weeks, our contributor uh, numbers are going up everywhere. Um, the forum is going up. Um, the KB is going up. Localization is going up. Um, Army of Awesome is going up. So it's a general trend. Um, Maybe it's because we had, um, you know, Ralph was in Brazil, I was in Lima, so we had a lot of contributors, you know, we had a lot of face-to-face uh, -face interaction with contributors. Um, maybe there's a lot of engagement from that. Also, we also have seasonal peaks. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a very positive uh, trend, um, but I was seeing that it, it's, it's, um, it's across all um, areas, so it's great. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> yeah, me neither. No, it's, it's great. So, but, but that that seems like yeah, I'm seeing what you're seeing now. It looks like everything is trending up. So you're right. Exactly. So awesome. that's a good thing to remark, right? Um, like yeah, we, we're totally. having a lot of people. And um, thanks. Uh, you know, just at this at this moment, like thanks for everyone of you, uh, our contributors who are out there welcoming everyone on IRC, on the forums, and helping people out. That's I think that that's exactly what's making this difference. Um, that we have more people joining because. You know, we have you welcoming people, you know, showing them around. So thanks a lot for everyone and keep doing uh, that awesome job. We're seeing that we're really definitely going up. So let's keep it yeah, that thanks way. Thanks, everyone. Awesome. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Um, so let's see. We come to the Sumo development update. Um, I, I, don't, I don't see Ricky online. Um, so maybe could you I can take this. Take that? Yeah. Sure thing. So I just put in there uh, the seventh sprint, what we've been, or what we are currently doing there. And the seventh sprint is currently happening. It will be finished by tomorrow. Um, but I'll focus on the eighth sprint, uh, which is going to start tomorrow. So this is preliminary. Um, we always have the sprint planning meeting on Tuesdays. Uh, so we will have um, a, a, a finished um, list of sprint items uh, by the end of tomorrow. Uh, but what we are going to focus on in this sprint, according to the roadmap also, is um, HTML emails. As I, said, as I said last week, we are first doing uh, the foundation for emails. And now we are converting the emails that we have into HTML emails. Um, so if you are a community manager, or if you know that emails are going to be sent out that you would like, uh, like to look, uh, have, have look differently like for example we know that we are going to restyle the um uh the emails that go out uh, from the forum so that people can click on a button and say this um uh, this answer solved my problem instead of having a long link that looks like garbage so those are obvious things and if you know of those things in any of those emails that you would like to have changed contact me please and we can file bugs for those things and make that happen in the sprint that's one one area of focus in this sprint. The other area um, is uh, um, sorry, yeah. Peter. Um, just just wondering, do you have like a like um one bug that or like a collection of bugs for the a HTML? tracker bug? You mean a tracker bug? Yeah. Yes, we do. Uh, and and I'll right after finishing this, yeah, I'll sorry. put it in there so that you know where you Perfect. can actually so that, attach that and to. The but yeah, that you don't you don't actually have to so if you don't want to care too much about that just just file it i'm reading every bug so i'll um assign it accordingly um you just let me know that's that's all <laughs> um the other thing that we are going to focus on is the revamp of the uh, ask a question flow so we know that there are a number of things that we can do to make it easier to navigate through the ask a question flow and uh that's that's one of the items that we're going to focus on in this sprint uh, this is going to take 
at least two sprints to get done. So. Then we have, uh, and this is actually this is so full, the sprint with awesome things. Uh, we are going to add uh, things, This and this is about a 25% time now. Um, so this is a small change for us in terms of, of technical change, but this is going to be a huge thing for the Army of Awesome is that we are going to add uh, the stream of things that are directed at uh, the Firefox account to the Army of Awesome account um, yeah, and to, awesome. The, to the list, to, to the um, stream there. Uh, we talked to the managers of the Firefox account and they are going to use this tool too. So um, this, this is going to be pretty awesome, I think. Uh, a lot more fodder for users, uh, for our contributors, but also a lot more people answering uh, things uh, that are directed directly at Firefox. So I put this under uh, uh, helping users, but also uh, under community. It's going to be awesome for both. <laughs> hey, uh, a question about that. Is it going to be visually separated somehow? Are you going to see if it's from, if it's being sent to at Firefox or if it's just a n normal tweet, so to say? Uh, actually, that is a very good question. Uh, right now, no. It would just be added to the uh, to the stream, uh, but that might actually make sense to specifically call out. Um, we we wouldn't have done that actually, but now that you mention it, it might make sense to do that. Well, I, I guess my let me let me rephrase my question. Is it possible to see the, uh, at all that it's coming to at Firefox? I guess you would see that because it would be part of the tweet itself. Yeah, exactly. But we right, are not okay. going to, uh, so right now we are not, uh, we didn't think right. about like and I, and I don't necessarily think that you need to either. I, I just wanted to make sure that you could see that. And, and I, I guess I, you can. So. Oh yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, it's, it's part of the tweet actually. Um, exactly. Yeah. I was just thinking slowly, but, but that's, that's awesome news. Right, so this is going to be awesome for our users and for contributors. I'm really excited that's about that. Um, then, um, we are going to, uh, let me look at this, um, so there, uh, there are a bunch of things, but one of the biggest things is, uh, that we are going to, sorry, uh, yeah, add a div to the, sorry, <laughs> add a div to the, uh, recent revision page which is a pretty big one. Um, that's a feature that uh, was, we were inspired by the MDN team to add that. Um, for, for locales, uh, we have this new shiny Get Involved page, which is really awesome and everyone likes it. We're going to make that actually uh, also accessible for, for locales and make sure that people find their way to the localized forums if they want to help on their forums. Um, and uh, we are going to add a section for canned uh, responses on the localization dashboard, uh, which has been a source of, of pain for, for a while. So I'm really happy about that. Um, and this is also pretty, this is new, and I would say this is one of the major things that we're going to do in the sprint is we're going to add uh, view counts uh, to the forum. So we were never able to do that because our uh, metrics provider didn't actually give us the ability, uh, but now we do have that. So um, actually, I, I just checked uh, preliminary, and there are threads that are read um, several thousand times a month. And right now, it looks like in a forum, it looks like you are answering just one person, and just one person is reading it, or maybe two or three. But the reality is hundreds of people are reading all those threads. And some of them are even read thousands of times. So uh, we're going to actually show this now. So people will be able to see how often a threat has been viewed in the last week or in the last month or in total. Um, I think, so for me personally, this is extremely motivating to know that my answer is helping more than one user. I actually see how many users it's probably going to right. help. Um, so I'm really excited about that. That's something also very, uh, that would be awesome for our HTML videos, uh, videos uh, email, sorry, so that we can send, you know, at the end of the month, you know, your, you know, your answers have been seen by so, so many people. I think that, that that could be also something that we could combine these two things that you're working on. And I think that would be really very good for our contributors. So great job. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I, I'm really excited about this. It, it sounds, it, I mean, it sounds good for motivation purposes. But I, I also wonder if it's is something that we could use 
to try to understand better how people use the forum. I mean, let's say that there's a one to hundred ratio of views versus votes, for example. But what if what if that is different for different type of questions? So I'm just I you know I'm just thinking out loud on on maybe there are things we can learn from this th these numbers too. So yeah, what we are going to do is instead of using uh, the Me Too votes that that are very volatile, uh, we are going to switch to using um, uh, the view counts actually. For example, in the forums when we show uh, which which are the most uh, requested questions, uh, we we had to go by the Me Too votes. We didn't have the ability to look at the um, forum views uh, until very recently. Um, are we going so to this keep is going the vote to... system though, or is that going to go yes. away? Yes, no, that's going to stay but it's not going to be that prominent anymore. So you will still be able to see that on the individual threads, uh, but we're not going to make it as uh, prominent as it has been in the past. Um, I mean, it, it is a, a great way to show that people individually say not only, so both of them have their uh, up and down sides. Um, and one upside of the Me Too votes is that people are not only just looking at the page, they're actively telling us, yes, I do have this problem. And that's very different in. from someone exactly. And that's they also uh, get get an email. So what ha what's happening is if you click on yes, I have this problem, we ask you if you would like to be notified if there, once there is a solution. And once something is marked as a solution, those people do get an email and they are notified and they can come. They don't even have to come to the forum, but uh, we send them an email that the solution has been found uh, to the problem that they have, so to say, subscribed to. So yeah, uh, really excited about that. <laughs> and of course, we are. This is just the beginning. We're going to experiment with that and and probably, hopefully, improve that over time. What we are doing with it, what, how we are displaying things, and how we work with it. Any questions for for uh, Sumo development? That sounds awesome. Um, anyone? Any questions? Um, so I think it, that, that was, um, you know, that, that was a very detailed update, um, and I'm really excited to see those things. So yeah, thanks, thanks for giving us that update. Um, I see that the UX update uh, that Bram is working on the draft for a new product and topic landing pages um, to support the topic and subtopic hierarchy. Is there anything else that we should mention, or you know, just to know that he's working on that and that we'll be seeing that soon? Yeah, so he's working on that right now, uh, or he started working on that. We will have a draft of that that uh, people can comment on and that I would love to get feedback on. I think by, it was mid-May, uh, we should have that uh, ready and uh, if, uh, people have, uh, have uh, be able to, to, to um, take comments and take input on that. Okay, perfect. That sounds good. Um, so let's move on to the round table. Um, I think there are no questions. Um, so let's go on. Um, uh, Michael, um, I think uh, that... Sorry? No, sorry. Uh, I thought you were skipping the round table section, but you were not. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm, I'm in the round table section. Yeah. Um, so Michael, I just want to ask you um, um, if you could give us a little bit background on the R logging the RC channels um, and how the discussion is going for... Um... Yeah, so Friday uh, in IRC, um, who is it? Noah, Noah Clone um, asked me uh, a number of times, he's asked me for if I could paste bin like sumo dev um, IRC logs. And, uh, and he asked me again on Friday and I said, hey, like, I'm not that I mind doing it, it takes like two seconds, but like, why am I always doing this? Is there something yeah. that, we can, that we can do so that it's not, you don't have to find me to have this, right? Um, and he said, oh, you know, like earlier Friday, I forget what the, there was a conversation maybe between me and Ricky over a bug, like explaining, he was explaining to me, I was like, Ricky, I don't understand this bug. Uh, why, why do we want to do this or not do it for, as an example? And he said, that's helpful for me, um, trying to learn why things get done or don't get done or, you know, background conversation on, on topics. Um, and he said, you know, it'd be cool if we could 
um, I was like, oh, well, we should just log this stuff, right? I mean, I know, like, for instance, Kadir is in, like, a zillion IRC channels logging things for himself all the time. Um, uh, I could have sworn we had done this in the past. He was like, oh, yeah, well, there's this thing called Logbot or something. And I was, and I thought, oh, I see. Yeah, it's super simple. And I'm, I'm not a, a IRC expert, but I realized, oh, look, I'm the channel operator. I could invite this thing to the channel. Problem solved. And then I tried and it didn't work because it's been banned. And then that started a whole conversation about, well, maybe not everybody wants it to be logged. And, and I said, but it can actually be logged and put on the internet and you wouldn't know. Like that's totally possible. And, you know, so um, that's where it came from. That was the genesis of that conversation. So I said, all right, well, we should just talk about this in the contributor forum and I'll put it on right. the Monday meeting. So okay. I think the idea is it's not something that all kinds of people are going to use every day, but it will come in handy from time to time for, for people, for things like background conversation on a topic, meeting notes, um, you know, did someone mention me while I was gone? You know, ask me a question while I was gone, that kind of stuff. Um, okay. Yeah. So, so, so let me, let me try to get this together. Um, so, you know, some contributors would like to see the logs. I can totally see the, the benefit on that, you know, plus IRC is a public channel. So everything that you write on IRC, um, can be seen by everyone in there. So I guess that that's, you know, we have our Sumo channel is a public channel and you should, uh, you know, be aware of the, of the fact that everything that's written there is actually public. Um, so I think that from that perspective, it would make sense to, you know, to have the logs so that everyone can come up and, you know, see how, that, how the discussions were going. Um, and Michael, what you said, the, the, the bot, I know that the reps program, they have this bot, they use it for uh, meetings um and and they can have the logs from the meetings but, but i'm sure that we can set it up with someone's like an irc ninja we can set up that bot so that we have this like on a daily basis or anything um right. so that's totally doable um i i would i would uh, i mean what i think is that it might be okay for for us you know because we know that this is public but maybe we could like try to understand if there are really like other concerns like for not making this um logs um public and then we can decide yeah i mean yes michael and then kadir the, I mean, the one concern brought up was that um, um, because it's a, uh, you know, it's not solely focused on uh, helping each other or, you know, people are chit-chatting, right. right? And and right. so the idea of them being like searchable in Google results was kind of people, some, that was a possible concern, mm -hmm. which maybe could be solved by putting it, you have to log in with your Sumo account to view the... Um, logs or something like that someplace where they're not indexed by google and you can make it not indexable right yeah by taking the robots right yeah right um so kadir and then david please yeah so first yeah they are my, my suggestion would also be just to put the robot txt in there and make sure that it's not being indexed if that is an issue the other thing is this is not new a lot of channels on um on IRC are actually already logged on the internet. You can search them. Um, just just search for um, developers uh, IRC log. You will see that they have been logged for like 10 years or so. You can see every single conversation for the last 10 years in developers. Um, so this is happening regularly. There are the channels that people log on and put on the internet. Um, this is this is really not uh, very specific to our channel or or specific to Mozilla. Um, a lot of channels, a lot of IRC channels are being logged. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure if this is, uh, we need to have this. But what I'm trying to say is that uh, this is not unexpected. There is nothing unexpected about uh, channels being logged on the, on the net. And we, sh we would do better to educate our users or contrib our contributors in that regard, because even if we have a different policy, when they go on develop on developers or somewhere else, they will be logged and will be put on the it will be put on the internet. Yeah, um, David. Oh, I was just gonna say that um, we have a thread, so I would encourage anyone who is invested in this to just uh, right. put your your uh, arguments pro and against in that thread. I don't necessarily think that we 
we can or should make that call in this meeting synchronously. No, no, no. So, not, not um, at all. So, and, and I also assume that we don't need to come up with a technical solution here either. So I personally think it's like, I, I agree. I think it's fine. It should be fine to do it. It's a, it's a public channel and anyone can log it anyway. But, but my, my recommendation would just be to continue that discussion offline. Perfect. Um, totally. I just, um, it was like. Well, I should say online. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. online. Um, it's good to hear like there that there are some some a couple of concerns. So there's this thread on the forums. Let's uh, it's posted on the Etherpad. Let's keep the conversation there. But um, you know, as far as I can see it here, uh, uh, like a lot of people are okay with logging those channels, and there's some value that can come out of that. And we would make it uh, make them not indexable. So that's what we take out of this meeting. Yeah, I guess to make it really simple, if anyone is against it, then speak up in that thread, uh, and then let's give it a week to 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 let people in in the wider community to to have their say, and then just make a call. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, okay, so uh, I'm gonna act that as an action item, right? To um, check sounds the good. IRC logging thread if you have against if you have anything against it. Okay, perfect. Um, so now, now comes a very important topic. Um, we we want to keep it uh, short, uh, but I just want to say this is very, very important for all, all our Mozillians or our contributors, and that is the Mozilla Summit is around the corner, and um, unfortunately, we cannot be sure that everyone who is interested in going will be invited. Um, I'm sorry, there's a lot of echo. Can someone mute themselves? Sorry, Roland. Um, you'll be right there. Um, so um, I just wanted to let, let everyone know, just uh, tell you know everyone around, like go and have like a Mozillians um, account. And uh, Michael, maybe because you posted this, maybe you want to talk a little bit about like how to do it. And just because they emailed uh, uh, Mozilla employees to remind people. So yeah, you need a, a Mozillians account. If you don't have one, you have to be vouched for. So uh, ping somebody who's already uh, has a Mozillian account and they can vouch for you. Um, and then you have to view the Summit 2013 uh, tag and then join that group. And you have to do that by Wednesday, April 17th. Can we yeah. post this in the contributor forum? As sure. A thread? Yeah, we can do that too. Yeah. Who can do that? I will do it. Perfect. Hey, thanks. Did you guys talk about this last week when I wasn't here? Do, do we want to say anything about what the summit is? Because it's been quite a while since we had one. No, no I don't, we, didn't we, didn't, about, we didn't talk about no. that. So uh, if you don't know, um, in the past, Mozilla has done these things called uh, the Mozilla Summit. The last time we did this was the summer of 2010, and we had about um, uh, about 300 or so people, um, you know, non-paid Mozillians, and and about 300 paid Mozillians, and we got together in one place in uh, Whistler, British Columbia, and. Uh, and had like a conference for three days. Um, um, people presented what they're doing, and and groups got together to you know work face to face and learn about uh, what other everybody's doing. It was super super amazing. So um, we haven't done it for the last uh, couple of years because we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and the logistics of getting. Um, a thousand or more people to one place is pretty tough, I guess. And so we're, but we are going to do it this summer, but we're going to do it in three places. Um, and I'm not sure there, I forget the places like San Francisco, someplace San Francisco, in Europe, Toronto and Paris, Paris, I think. Paris and Toronto. Okay. And so the idea is to have hundreds of people in each place. So together we'll have like over uh, a thousand people or something. Um, and then there'll be some way that these, uh, these summits will be connected virtually. I'm not sure how that'll work, but uh, I think that was kind of the idea. Right. Um, Regardless, it's super, super awesome. It'll be one of the yeah. best things you ever do. <laughs> yeah. 
I just wanted to say that, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I think this is a great um, moment to kind of, you know, meet other resilience and, and learn uh, what's happening uh, with the project. So please go and do it if you know anyone. Um, I know I, I've heard from a couple of contributors that have approached me um, that they didn't have a, a resilience uh, account and then uh, we solved it afterwards. Um, so if you know anyone, just ping them and tell them that they need to get a resilience account. Um, to do those. Um, Tyler, I think you wanted um, to mention something. Yeah, um, I was a contributor and when I attended the summit in 2010 and I know it can be a little bit scary meeting all those people face to face for the first time, but it's really a very rewarding experience. So I mean, if you get the chance, um, apply for it and it's an extremely rewarding um, weekend. So I would go for it if you aren't sure about it, just apply for it. So yeah, I'm going to post it uh, uh, to the contributor forums. Please help us reach out to anyone who hasn't, um, who, you know, if you know some contributors, just help us, you know, ping them and so that we make sure that everyone uh, who's interested uh, in attending actually uh, gets to attend. So thanks. Um, that's very, uh, that's what we need to do. So, oh yeah, you posted every all the links that you need. They're on the on the Etherpad, and I will post the instructions to the support forums. So, if you don't have any questions, um, let's move to Firefox Desktop. Um, so, what? It's Tyler, right? Tell us a little bit about Firefox Desktop. Yeah, I think Matt actually put this oh, update sorry. in, but I I can cover it. Um, Basically, we released Firefox 2001 last week. It fixed uh, the issue where you can't type in the URL bar for uh, enterprise users with redirected profiles. Um, it's a Windows-only fix, so if you're not on Windows, you won't get this update. Uh, but other than that, there's not any big issues. Uh, some users with uh, confused on how the new private browsing works or how the new download window works, but that's about it. Okay, so that sounds sounds really good, right, Matt and Tyler? Sorry, Matt, I. Um... I confused the, the, the color. Yeah, no worries. But uh, like Tyler said, it's actually going um, pretty smooth re release right now. So that's always reason to celebrate. So yay. Yay. OK, that's wonderful. That's very good. Um, I see no questions. So let's move to Firefox. Let's see, Ralph. Now it's your turn. I count five. I'm impressed. Five? <laughs> yeah, in Sweden, if you sneeze more than three times, you can, uh, you can make a wish. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Five, Does it so. only apply if you're in Sweden? No, no, no. It applies everywhere. <laughs> Anywhere. It's okay. a universal Swedish law. Uh, oh. um, <laughs> I can't really follow that one up. I don't have any great traditions to throw in. Uh, Firefox for Android was released. Uh, we had a 2001 release because we somehow had a marketplace promo in there that we're not supposed to have in there. And as Tyler can have confirmed, Firefox 20 looks great, lowest crash rate ever uh, for Firefox for Android, we believe. Um, and on Friday and Saturday, we temporarily pulled Firefox 21 for Android beta. So for those of you who are testing, it's now back on the Google Marketplace because we mistakenly made it English only and QA is trying to figure out what happened there. Other than that, uh, 21 looks good. There's not a lot of features to document but um, soon we'll be moving on to 22. And that's it. Sounds good, Roland. Um, any questions? Otherwise, we move forward, right? Um, the next um, update would be Firefox OS. Michelle, are you, are you there? Hi. Hi. Yes. Um, uh, uh, I don't have anything much more than in the uh, Etherpad unless people have um, questions. But I want to thank everyone for their continued hard work on the Firefox OS help article. We have another help article day this Thursday. So I would encourage anyone to come and join us uh, helping with Firefox OS articles. We will start doing, um, doing sweeps for sort of typos and some um, consistency sweeps. Uh, this week, so if your content is reviewed, that's what we're doing. We're just starting to stabilize some of the English content so that um, 
all the awesome people at Mozilla Hispano and Mozilla Poland and Mozilla Brazil, all of our contributors to Sumo Help Articles can start localizing. So they'll start to see some um, files getting uh, ready to be set for L10N. And Rosanna and I are putting together some plans that we'll post about that um, this week, which we discussed last week. So thanks, everyone. Join us on Thursday for Help Article Day. We still need yeah. some content. Um, so there's a lot of stuff you can do. Just let us know um, what you're interested in or check on the dashboard for the existing list we have for, for new content that we're still working on. I don't have an update on devices for those people who, for whom I've ordered devices. There's a shortage <laughs> of prototype devices. Um, so I did uh, escalate that question last week to see if I can get help to get devices out to people. So I appreciate your patience and everyone who's still using the simulator to do documentation. You're awesome. And I am still trying to get you devices. Thanks for the update, Michelle. Uh, that sounds really good. And, and thanks for everyone who's actually helping us to write articles with the simulator. That's awesome. That's really good. And, uh, well, and I wanted to also say I think it, it's great how um, we're all welcoming each other and um, saying hello and helping people to know where to go when they want to get started with things. Um, I thought last week was a really exciting week <laughs> related to that. Um, so it's neat to see all the new people coming. and and the warm welcomes from the existing community members. We're going to continue to see that, I think, with Firefox OS. So, so thanks to people who are being good buddies. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think that, uh, Michelle, we were talking that, you know, like the, the we have, a, a, you know, new contributors. And, and I think that it is helping a lot that, you know, everyone's like grabbing everyone's hands and, you know, bringing more people in and um, some, you know, uh, just to mention an example, after the Polish meetup, um, we have like uh, two very uh, active uh, localizers, and they're already they already have plans um, to bring someone uh, some some new people. F X, um, sorry, uh, that's your your nickname. You're in the call, actually. Thanks a lot. You've been bringing us a lot of people from Poland, so um, it's exactly people like you who are making this community grow, um, and and that's really amazing. That's awesome. Is he on the call? Yes, I think so. He joined and he had to mute himself because he was in a public space. Right. Yeah, but I, I think he left. But I'm not sure. I don't see any in the. In oh the yes, yes, yes. I think he left. I think he left. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, I mean, you were in the call. Thanks. I mean, he even joined our call. So yeah, he has been very active in Poland and in bringing new people. So that's awesome. Yep. Awesome. So let's nice. move on because we actually today we have a longer meeting, sort of. Um, now we can come to Thunderbird. Roland, do you have um, anything there? No. No, Thunderbird 21 beta has some significant bug fixes um, that we would like people to test if they have time. The beta came out last, late last week. OK. Um, so I think, Kadir, um, e, the metrics uh, update, uh, KPI dashboard, do you have anything? Yeah. Uh, one thing this week, uh, interestingly, we broke a record in our visitor numbers last uh, Friday. Uh, with 838,000 visitors that day. That's pretty wow. impressive. That's, um, that's awesome. Yeah, Michael, you, you probably know uh, the source for that. I, I just saw that. So. <laughs> no, I was going to ask you because, you know, we're not okay. trying to get a big number of people. That's, and, well, I mean, sometimes we do. Sometimes we do. When we link, when we link yeah, to when things, we, right? But right. yeah. Especially. Exactly. So I just thought this, um, but uh, if if this was intentional, then this is pretty awesome. <laughs> I'll follow up on that. I'll yeah, maybe that. maybe maybe our articles were linked uh, by right. you know a yeah. third party. So we're using the uh, snippets to point people to the private browsing stuff because we've changed the location. So we might want to check on that and make sure that's where it's coming from and not something else. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I'll that would be awesome. Uh, user education, so that's that's a good reason to have more people on our website. Uh, so Rosanna. Oh, you're muted. We somehow. love your body language, but we can't hear you. 
sorry, I sorry, I muted myself. I'm sorry. I was saying that uh, uh, th that's great, um, and that we hope that uh, uh, you know that people came for the privacy stuff and not because they had trouble. Um, on the KPI dashboard, just to say, you know, keep the good energy so that we keep on going up <laughs> with uh, our contributor uh, numbers on Sumo. Um, and if there's not anything else that we should talk about, let's move to the community updates um, because we're running out of time um, today. Um, I just wanted to say that community, uh, we have the buddy meeting. We had one buddy meeting last week and we're, uh, we have a lot of uh, homework. We always have homework in our <laughs> buddy meetings. Uh, uh, please feel free to, uh, to join us. Uh, we're going to have, we're going to have a meeting again this Friday. Um, so if you want to join the pilot or if you want to join the meeting, just uh, join us on Friday on RSC. Everything is um, on the Etherpad and on the thread. So you'll find all the information there. Um, a quick note on Elton uh, the the Spanish community is very uh, it's very keen on keeping that 100% uh, localization uh, rate uh, and they're very happy so they're working for that <laughs> so I wanted to say that that's awesome uh, it's great to see them so motivated to keep that 100% uh, uh, localization rate uh, just uh, like a quick note um, knowledge base Michael let's uh, super quick um, hey, if, uh, sorry so Oh, Just sorry, one Mike. question about the localization section. For some reason, it looks like it's linking back to, to, to the same like Etherpad. Yeah, sorry. I was like... Which is pretty cool if you click on it, but <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that that was correct. No, no, you have to reload it then. <laughs> um, just a couple of quick things. Um, in the knowledge base meeting, we've been talking about a like documentation status board. Um, and so it is totally not fleshed out, but it exists. It has one link on it with no explanations. But uh, so work in progress, just to let people know it exists. Um, but what we'll start putting there, um, and this will be helpful for localization, for instance, and in like keeping that 100% localization thing, um, it'll be like, hey, we've, we're updating these top articles for Firefox 21, they're now done. Here are the links, you know, those kind of things. Um, who's working on what, just organizing uh, documentation kind of stuff. Um, last week, when I wasn't here at the meeting, I was at a conference uh, called Write the Docs. It was pretty cool. Um, I talked about Sumo and how we localize articles. People were pretty interested in all of that. You can see I linked to the slides. Um, and one of these days, if we can get Optimizely to cooperate with us, um, Kadir and I are trying to test uh, collapsible sections on knowledge base articles. There's a mock up there so you can see what that looks like. Um, but we can't get Optimizely to cooperate with us yet, so still a work in progress, also. And that's it. Okay. Cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, that's really cool, yeah. So oh, that sounds all very good. Sorry that I rushed through the last part of the meeting, but I wanted to make sure that we have time uh, in case there's any questions left uh, or if anyone has anything um, else at the end. Um, any questions for Michael or for anyone else? Uh, let me check I just RSA. wanted to say that I, I thought the slides that you made were excellent, Michael. I thought oh, they were really cool. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, like uh, if, if you're like, yeah, that's true. They're really, really beautiful. And they bring it all together. So yeah, check them out. They're awesome. I have to say, I also just use the Mozilla slide template, stuck pictures and words on them. But yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's like I just logged into Kitsune and I, you know, organized and some I... some characters together, and that's the, result <laughs> yeah. of the article that you're reading right here. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I threw some pictures. Yeah, right. Whatever. Good, uh, good throwing, I'd say. Okay. Yeah. That's also a lucky dip there, you know, all those random monkeys to drawing those pictures. Yeah, so definitely Michael's uh, slides are really amazing. Um, if you're a localizer and you want to talk about Sumo, you, you, those slides are awesome. You can have them as a base uh, and you can translate them. They're awesome. Yeah, and it's, so it's yeah. HTML5, right? So the yeah. source is just grab it. Just grab it. Yeah. That's yep. even better. We're using our own technologies. That's awesome. Yep. Fantastic. Well, so um, if there are 
if you don't have any other questions, um, I think that we can um, uh, end the meeting. Um, I'm going to post uh, right away to the forums um, so that people register in mozillians.org. Uh, for a long time, you know, a long time ago we did that, uh, but probably we have a couple of new contributors who haven't done it. So if you know anyone, just ping them. You know, it's as a general um, request to um, all our Sumonians, <laughs> just ping everyone. You know, that was and, the first. Uh, I love that. <laughs> I, I think I said it like like a couple of months ago. I, I oh, just really? remember. I must have missed that. Yeah. So just you know, ping your cup. You know, your 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 Simonians, your friends, and tell them they need to register. And uh, yeah, would love to see you face to face and um, to enjoy some time with uh, Mozillians. So that's it. Have a great week, everyone. And uh, we'll see you next week uh, in our meeting. And um, any contributor who wants to join, please uh, feel free to do so. We're always very happy to see your faces here. And enjoy the week. Have a great week, everyone. And thanks, uh, Rosanna, really? for, for hosting this meeting. You're doing a great job. Yeah, thank you. It's a lot of fun. Bye. <laughs> thanks, cool. It shows. Bye. <laughs>